go. These are not muscle guys here. They're muscle guys up here, right? And they calmly walk to a seat. Ding, 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 ding. They've only got 17 seconds to figure this whole thing out, right? Boom. Okay. Missile launch. Ping, boom. It's the most un- I've said it before and let me say it again. That may be sad if it wasn't someone who was causing such grievous harm to our country, to our democracy. I mean, watching the rapid deterioration there of Donald Trump as he goes on stage with his cult followers and starts talking about missile systems in terms of ding dong, ding dong, ding dong. It is so unhinged. He is so deeply unwell and his sickness pervades the entire modern day Republican party, which is now the MAGA party. Speaking of, here's Donald Trump as he plays this weird cult music and you'll hear somebody in the audience say the QAnon slogan where we go one, we go all. And then someone else says, free the January 6th insurrectionists. They go free the J6ers. And he says, we will, we will. Just watch this behavior. Play this clip. And in every one of Donald Trump's speech right now, he compares himself to the mobster Al Capone, who he calls Alphonse Capone. Here, play this clip. It's, I'm not sure he has any idea what the hell's going on. The guy can't put two sentences together. And you know, I never spoke to him about him like this. I speak to him, it's very derogatory what I say, because you know what he did? He indicted me. I mean, I've, I've been indicted. I've been indicted more than Al Capone. See that guy, how tough he is? Look at him with a big red hat on. He's a tough guy. If Al Capone- Hear Donald Trump struggling with his words. Play the clip. That could help us pay off the debt. You know, we have $35 trillion in debt. Reduce taxes further. I gave you the biggest tax credit. We got the biggest tax cut. Hear Donald Trump talks about when he was disgracing uh, the office, how he would get calls from people and how everybody got a piece of the action with our, our our country was for sale when he was in office here play this clip we get that success back and we're going to be bringing our country together like you wouldn't believe it actually could even me i was so i was so surprised i was getting calls from people that you would not suspect would be calling and everybody got a piece of that action and it was a beautiful thing to see we had get here donald trump just tries to instill his scare tactics and he talks about how the stock market and economy is running on his fumes, which is not true. And he claims that uh, if he starts doing bad in the polls, if things start happening to him, it's going to affect the economy because everyone just cares about him, which is just so false, so sociopathic. But play the clip. And you know, the stock market is going good. You know why the stock, because the economy is horrible, except for the stock market, because everyone thinks we're going to get elected. And that's why they're they're doing it. These are very smart investors. If they see a bad poll, you're going to see some bad numbers. Or if you see a bad result tomorrow, you're going to see some very bad numbers. But they're running on the fumes of what we did in every way, including oil. We uh, produce things that nobody ever thought possible. But the day after the election, they're going to turn it all off. You watch. But uh, the stock market's running on fumes. And the stock market, literally, every single time you see good polls coming out, from that stock market goes crazy. So I want to just congratulate all of you investors. But you better hope I win, because otherwise <laughs> you're going to be- Then Donald Trump gets heckled when he accuses people of being fascists. Play the clip. Those are fascists, by the way. Those are the people that are a danger to the country. But never forget our enemies want to take away my freedom because I will never let them take away your freedom. Trump gets heckled again. Play the clip. Thank you very much. Thank you. Those are great people. I was also honored. She's back. She's back. (laughs) 
Thank you very much. Thank you very much. That's beautiful. I was also honored. This is very important because I was also, she's going home now. Where have you been, darling? You know, we don't have that like we used to. We used to have it all the time. So what Donald Trump had to say about uh, Republican, uh, MAGA Republican, Tim Scott from South Carolina. Play the clip. I mean, today was a big story, the biggest story out there. He's engaged to be married. We never thought this was going to happen. What's going on? Here, a confused Donald Trump refers to himself in the third person while reading his teleprompter. Play the clip. Yes, oh yes, and quickly, says President Trump. We will be there very quickly. Here, Donald Trump talks about how hiring your own lawyer doesn't help you. Play this clip. Your own lawyer. You believe that one? They have to hire some cases. Hire your own lawyer. That doesn't work out too well. We're going to give them indemnification so they can take care of the crime situation. Here, Donald Trump says that he now loves Vivek Ramaswamy because he dropped out of the race. Play the clip. And this I do for Vivek because he's very big into it. I happen to agree with him. But he said, could you mention this? I will never. He said, I love Vivek. We, I love him too now. I didn't love him when he was running, but I like him now. It's amazing the way you can like somebody when you win, right? <laughs> but Vivek is great. He's really great. But he wanted this, and I'll give him full credit for it. It's very important, actually. I will never allow the creation of a central bank digital currency. Uh-huh. Donald Trump just slurring his words here, talking about the death penalty or something. Can't even understand them. Play the clip. Which is incapable of solving even the smallest, smallest problem. The simplest of problems we can no longer solve. We can't do anything. We are an institute and a powerful death penalty. We will put this on. We have to. Here, Donald Trump talks about being in office for 12 more years. And he says, though, don't tell the media that or they'll accuse me of being a fascist. Play the clip. To. 12 years Trump. <laughs> You're right. That's very interesting. Don't say that too loud. They'll start saying. He wants more. He's a fascist. You know, they love to call me a fascist. Before that speech, here's what Donald Trump had to say about Nikki Haley, who's talked about Donald Trump's serious cognitive issues. Play this clip. Um, So Nikki Haley says now she has the two-person race that she's always wanted. She has been coming after you strongly in the past few days. It's worked both ways, um, and you've come after her as well. She, She keeps bringing up your age lately. What do you say about that? Well, I think I'm a lot sharper than her. I would do this. I would sit down right now and take an aptitude test, and it would be my result against her result, and she's not going to win. She's not going to even come close to winning. Uh, in fact, when I heard the word cognitive, you know, I've taken two of them now. I took one with Doc Ronnie, who's now a fantastic, you know, White House doctor, and a fantastic uh, congressman from Texas, Admiral, the White House doctor, Jackson, Ronnie Jackson, and he's uh, now a great congressman from Texas. I took uh, one then, and I took one recently. I think the result was announced, and it was, I aced it twice. I aced it. But I would say that, you know, I've actually called for a cognitive test for anybody running for president, because I actually think that's a good idea. It would be nice to have an intelligent person be president. Uh, But... uh, Kelly has two, I believe. So how do you see the race? Here, Donald Trump speaks a bunch of gibberish about gas prices. He he, he can't even understand what he's even saying anymore. It's just a bunch of magamush. Play this clip. And, you know, gasoline was under $2. Now it's uh, very high, coming down because they're doing, they're throwing everything they possibly can to get at it. But right after the election, if that ever happened, and you just better hope to God it doesn't happen where he gets in because he's destroying this country. So would you- And I'm glad though that President Biden's going on the offense now. Here is a post from President Biden. Good one, Donald. He shows the video clip where Donald Trump said in 2020 that the stock that the stock market would collapse if President Biden was elected. And then right now you have the Dow and S&P 500 hitting all time record highs uh, today. Here's the Trump clip. And then here's uh, from 2020. And here's what was reported on, on Fox today. First, the clip of Trump in 2020. Play the clip. If Biden wins, you're going to have a stock market collapse, the likes of which you've never had. You will have a collapse. Now, here's the clip from Fox today. Play the clip. Thanks. 
Optimism over earnings reports led the Dow and the S&P 500 to new record closes today. The Dow gained 138. The S&P 500 rose 11. Here, President Biden talks about how Donald Trump, in his own words, brags about being able to kill Roe v. Wade and shows Donald Trump's post right there. Here, President Biden says, we've spent the last three years working on behalf of the American people. Let's keep it going. And here, President Biden posts about consumer sentiment, a measure of how optimistic folks are about our economy has surged 29% over two months, the biggest jump in three decades. Wages are rising. So is household wealth. And we have the lowest inflation rate of any major economy. Our policies are working. Our policies are working. Play this clip of President Biden that he posted. Policies paying off. This is pretty darn good. Speaking of policies, here's what the White House posted as well in response to Republican Congress member Pete Stauber, who's bragging about how there was uh, funding for a bridge in his district which is a huge win for uh, Minnesota's 8th Congressional District, that Stauber voted against that project that he's now bragging about. The project that came about because of the policies of President Biden and his bipartisan infrastructure law that MAGA Republicans in the House voted against. Here's what the White House wrote. You voted against President Biden's bipartisan infrastructure law but are now taking credit for it. And there was a good community note here on Congressman Stauber's post. Pete Stauber voted against the bill that is funding this project. And going back to President Biden's prior posts, our policies are working. Look, I know about you. I just want normalcy. I look at President Biden's policies and they actually help our country. I don't want a madman who's this cartoon dystopian villain accordion hands whatever the hell that even was that you saw like what is that i mean if, if i wanted to watch some horrifying dystopian i don't know sci-fi movie and and see some real weird behavior i'll go watch a movie i don't need to i don't need to have you know mr accordion hands over there who behaves, who behaves like that? Like who be, who acts like what, what you saw with Donald Trump? Like what the hell's going on? And as President Biden says, we're the United States of America. This is the United States of America. We're so much better than that. Tell me what you think in the comments. Leave me a note. I'm Ben Micellas from the Midas Touch Network. Hit subscribe. We're so close to 2 million subscribers. Hit subscribe. It's free. Thanks for watching. And check out MidasTouch.com slash newsletter. It's free to subscribe to our newsletter. MidasTouch.com slash newsletter. Have a great day. Hey, Midas Mighty. Love this report? Continue the conversation by following us on Instagram, at MidasTouch, to keep up with the most important news of the day. What are you waiting for? Follow us now.